everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. I came in here to do my video, and I said, oops, I forgot to go put my lipstick on, so I went and put my lipstick on. Then I get in there, and I realize, I forgot to put my hair on. <laughs> so I came back, and I put my hair on. I got my hair on. Yes. And Jim, I said, Jim, you didn't notice. And he goes, no, I looked good both ways. And I says, oh, I don't think so. But today, <laughs> that's a crazy way to start a video. But yes, <laughs> I'm wearing a wig for those of you that don't know me. Um, for those of you that do know me, yeah, it looks way better, I think, than my hair some days. Like most days. Um, today, I dealt with the broody hens again. And so I'm going to put a little video in. And I'm going to also show you the little bit of the garden. I'm not going to show you a lot, just a few minutes of that. The most of it is with the hens. So let's put it in right here. I showed you a while back my garden when we had just planted it. And this is what it looks like today. And that's the lettuce and the Swiss chard. Then these are the sweet peppers. We bought um, orange and yellow sweet peppers, but for some reason, one of the packages must have been marked wrong because these are some kind of, I think, a jalapeno pepper. I don't know what they are. You can see the little pepper there. And, of course, we always get our Hungarians. And these are the Hungarian wax peppers. These are the ones that I love. And over here is where I planted the spaghetti squash that I got from Granny B. Granny B, it's doing really good. And I also planted my potato. Remember I planted that potato that I cut up? Well, it's in blossom. So that means it's making some potatoes below the ground. And um, when this dries up, that's when I can dig them up. But you wait here. You have to wait till the plant dies before you dig up the potato. And I will show you now. I'm gonna go show you the hen that's in the dog cage. This is the hen that decided that she didn't want to stop being broody. And good thing I had gloves on because she bites. And this is Brownie. Brownie is getting nervous because I'm close by. It's a nervous type bird anyways. She must be laying an egg because if she doesn't puff up, she's, no, she's not, ouch, but she bites. She's not broody, but she says, leave me alone. I will leave her alone. They puff up if they're broody. And over here I have silver and my Americana. There's silver. See how pale she's getting in the face? And my Americana. Hello, sweetheart. I've given them water and a food dish because I've got the, the house blocked off. I put the, the dog gate there to keep the other birds from bothering them. And so I gave them water and I gave them food. This afternoon, this one decided to go broody and stay broody. She's the one that was giving me a hard time yesterday. So I decided I better put her in this cage. She's in the guinea pig cage. I still have one more cage empty. And then I think I have one in the basement if I really need it. But for the time being, she's in this one and she'll be spending the night there because I'm not going to take her out. And Brownie is still in this cage. I had to give her a different water because she spills everything. She has eaten some of the food that I gave her, so she's doing pretty good. This one dumped everything that she has except for her water, which is good. And there's one of my buffs. She's enjoying something off of the rack. Well, ladies, you have to cool off, and it's hard to do in this heat. Oh, watch, you don't neck your, your dish over. You'll make a wet bed. That would be awful. You need to get yourself off the water. 
You're a famous bird, you know that, Emma? Everybody knows your name. Today, when I was washing my face, I said, oops, my earring just went down the drain. So Jim had to tear, we had to clean out underneath the bathroom sink, and Jim had to tear the drain apart, and there was my earring. I don't know where the back went. I lost the back somewhere, but that could be outside. That could be almost any place, because I don't know when that fell off. And so I never found that, and so I'll have to find a back that will match it or fit it. It's one of those self-piercing, or not self-piercing, it's one of the earrings that they use when they pierce your ears. I um, don't remember if it was used on me or used on Emily. <laughs> I don't remember. But um, So I put on these earrings. Boy, my nose is itching. I have to itch my nose. It itches. And I'm not telling a lie. It really does, and it's hot. And that's true, too. Okay, um, today I picked up a bag of garbage somebody threw in the middle of the street, probably after last night's crazies. There was a lot of um, fireworks going on. I don't know if there was a lot of fireworks in your area or not, but I think they were doing a lot bigger stuff than what the state actually allows, but it was, oh my goodness, they were being booming really bad. It sounded like we were in a war zone. Jim sat outside and was watching them go up high in the sky and, and you know how they go, they go out and they make big beautiful things and then it sounded like they were falling on the roof of the house because of the, the sound thing. In fact, I went outside and I said, it sounds like it's raining on the house. Well, it was the sound that we were hearing and because I put the dog in his dog kennel, he stopped his barking because he was barking like crazy. This, it sounds like a, a big huge gunshot is what it sounds like. And um, I went to bed early. And the reason I went to bed early is I thought if I stay up much longer, I want to eat something I'm going to regret. Because I try not to eat after a certain hour. And you know how the snackies hit you. They always hit you at a, at a certain hour. And I tried real hard not to eat anything. Um, I think that's everything today. I was watching. I watched... Bob did another video, which I was surprised. I didn't know he did another video. He put it out yesterday, but I didn't know it was out yesterday because I don't get the notification for some reason. And there's a lot of videos that I don't get notification. I have their bells set, and so I just go searching. Or if they've commented on mine, then I will check to make sure that I've watched them for sure. And so that's what I did. I watched some videos. I crocheted some. I'm adding some more yarn to the blue one because I wanted it bigger and boy it's warm to be crocheting with yarn it's warm right now and my mealworms are doing really good I've got a lot of new little worms the eggs have hatched and the beetles there's still beetles in there so they must be pretty hardy I don't know they're, they, they're supposed to die after a while but I've still got a lot of beetles in there along with a lot of mealworms so I've, I guess I'm going to have a well, good they amount. they hatched out at different stages, too. So. Yeah, but they're, they're still going strong. That's the funny part. They're still going strong. Um, I, um, I showed you the video already. And it was, in case you can't see real well, the video showed the garden. It showed the peppers. And it showed the chickens that are in timeout. I have two of them in timeout. And I have one more cage available should I have to. They are just being broody, broody hens. And if they're broody, they don't lay eggs. I don't know if you know that or not. They won't lay eggs until they're out of the broodiness. And then when they hatch the eggs, it's another eight weeks before they lay eggs. So you're, it's a long time. It's 21 days and then eight weeks that they don't lay. So you don't want your hens to be broody for at least not a lot of them to be broody. But you might want a few to be broody, if, especially if you want to hatch them out. And my eggs are fertilized so they can hatch out. So I, I thought maybe you'd like to know that <laughs> as well. I don't know. Well, that is it for today, and I will talk to you all again tomorrow. So you have a great night. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.